In this video, I'm going to show you how to utilize the missing word format to import short answer quiz questions into NetSchool. To get started, go ahead and pull up the short answer quiz that you want to work from. And the first step will be getting rid of all the directions. The only thing we're going to be using are the actual questions. You'll also need to take out all of the numbers. And I'm just going to work with three of these questions, but it'll be the same format regardless of how many you have. Again, we're taking out all the extra characters, instructions, and question numbers. And you also will need to put an extra line between each question. This is how this format recognizes that it's a, it's a separate question. Next, any place where you have your blank or where the correct answer would go in a, a typical short answer quiz, you're going to want to highlight that and insert an open bracket. After the open bracket, you're going to insert the equal symbol and then you would type the correct answer and close the bracket. You're going to use that same format in each place where you have a blank for the short answer. So open bracket equals, and then you would type the correct answer. And, and I'm gonna do this last one. So again, I'm gonna highlight the blank. Open bracket equals answer. Now once I have my answers entered, as well as my extra space between each question, I'm going to go up and I'm going to choose File, Save As. And my file type is going to be a plain text. So make sure that you're saving it as plain text. And you're going to choose Save. I'm going to save this to my desktop so I can quickly find it. After you've saved your quiz as a plain text, you'll go ahead and navigate back to your NetSchool course and make sure that editing is on. Um, then you'll want to go down and access your quiz. So right here mine is short answer sample. So I already have my quiz created. And I'm going to want to go to administration, question bank. And the first thing I want to do is set up a category. If you're going to be creating multiple short answer quizzes with multiple questions, it's going to be really important that you create a category for each quiz so that you can keep your questions organized. So I'm just going to call this one short answer sample and I'm going to hit add category. After I've created my category, I'll then go back to administration and choose import. Now I'm ready to import my questions from the file. My file format is going to be a missing word format. And under general, I'm going to want to select that category I just created, that short answer sample. Next, I'm going to choose my file. So I have the option to drag and drop, or I can browse for my file. And again, I save mine quickly on my desktop. So I'm going to find it here and hit choose, and then upload, and then I'm going to choose import. Now I can see those three questions have, I can verify that they have correctly imported and I can hit continue. And now I see those three questions here. Just to verify, I can click on the cog and see that it did indeed mark answer one as answer, which is what I put in my brackets. Now, if I return back to my course and I go down to where I created my short answer sample quiz, I'm going to choose Edit Quiz and I'm going to select that category for the quiz, which was Essay Sample. And I'm going to choose all of those questions to add to the quiz. As you can see here, it has put each question on a separate page. You can go in and change that under order and paging so they're all on the same page. Now if I return back to my quiz, I can attempt quiz now to preview what my students will see. So all of mine were answer. 
and answer. And answer. I can see that they're saved. I can now submit all and finish. And it gives the students immediate feedback. And in this case, I got 100 because they were all answer. So this is an example how you can use the missing word format to cut down on the time of manually entering multiple quiz questions for a short answer type format.